what is going down world i go by the name black pegasus and two-time olympic gold medalist cleet keller a swimmer has been identified a part of the mob that stormed the dc capitol on january 6th he actually got caught by wearing his u.s team jacket let's get into this so two-time olympic gold medalist cleet keller has been identified a part of the mob that stormed the dc capitol um this fool actually had his u.s team jacket actually let's get into it i'm gonna post the pictures right here good lord what is going down so you want to know why this hits so close to home for me well he actually lives in colorado springs and guess where i live colorado springs the home i always call it the olympic the olympic city right because we have the olympic training center here that's why i always wear polo with usa all my stuff because you know i've always been into uh into the olympic brand you know and and all those different things supporting our country in the olympics etc I just thought this was crazy because there has been a huge narrative, a huge narrative that, yo, it was all Antifa that stormed the D.C. Capitol. Yo, it was BLM that stormed the D.C. Capitol. Well, it's all starting to come out that it hasn't been. And so here you go. This is prime footage. There's a picture of an actually gold medal Olympi uh, Olympian um, being a part of the Capitol storming. And, um, you know, I'm going to play some of the video footage, too. Because in the video footage, you can see um, see him in the mix of the breach actually happening. Now, he's not doing anything aggressive like, yo, get off me, trying to fight people. But he's definitely in the mix. He's definitely on the Capitol. And so what's crazy is a lot of these people, like they're starting to identify from pictures, video, cell phones. People are calling in on them. And um, it looks like some are getting arrested. Some are getting charged. Some are getting let go. But there was this huge narrative that... Um, it was an event that people dressed up as Trump supporters and stormed the D.C. Capitol. And at the beginning, I was definitely on the fence like, hey, I, I could see there being provocateurs, agitators. Um, let's keep it 100. We saw plenty of video footage of actual Trump supporters saying, hey, do not break the windows. Hey, do not go in there. But there was a mob of people that went in there. And um, when you see an Olympic gold medalist, you know, wearing his USA team jacket, you kind of start to you wonder you don't wonder. You just start to see that, look, people feel disenfranchised. They actually feel a certain way about the election. And they were there seriously to protest aggressively for sure. Now, taking it to the level of an insurrection and all these other things, I don't know. But at the beginning, they did say, hey, there were pipe bombs. There were this. They were that. But now, as things start to unfold, I haven't heard them talking about that as much. But again, I'm not like super informed on that right now, so who knows? But people definitely did storm the Capitol, and it definitely wasn't, I mean, maybe there could have been some Antifa there. There could have been. There could have been. I'm not going to count that out, but as of now, as things keep coming to fruition, it does seem like it was more of an angry mob of uh, Trump supporters, and that's just what it is. Um, so by seeing this, What's crazy to me is uh, I'm from Colorado Springs, the Olympic City, and I was just so surprised because in this case, he in this video that I just showed, he didn't have a, a mask on. And, and the only thing he grew a little bit of a beard, you know, what I'm saying, but you can tell it's him. But to wear your USA team jacket to this rally um, I think he wore it as a statement, like, look, I'm an American, I've competed in the Olympics, got a gold medal, I'm here to support, you know, the president. I'm guessing that's why he wore it. But to just aimlessly and not think about it and go with this mob of people, this angry mob of people, and storm into the Capitol with your U.S. Olympic team jacket seems super negligent. Anyways, um, I definitely cannot um, co-sign that. I don't even co-sign, like, honestly... I can't even co-sign um, the January 6th rally. Like, I'm just like, look, I mean, we already know how um, how that sect of people feels about the election. I get it. And then to have a rally that day and then the way it went, it just seems so set up. Like, you know, security's letting a grip of people in. Also, 
um, it has been um, on record that uh, security um, called for backup six times and they didn't get backup. So what's that about as well? A lot to unpackage there, but um, let's look at this. <clears throat> Olympic gold medal swimmer living in Colorado Springs fired after attempt attending Capitol protest. Olympic gold medalist Cleet Keller has been identified as having taken part in the U.S. Capitol riots last Wednesday. According to reports, Keller, a swimmer who won two gold medals on the U.S. relay team, along with Michael Phelps, was identified by former teammates and coaches via social media images showing him inside the U.S. Capitol. I mean, at first I was kind of skeptical. I was like, yeah, right. They're just trying to take people out because a lot of people are getting canceled for supporting the president. And I think there's a huge difference between getting canceled for supporting the president and storming the D.C. Capitol in that manner. Huge difference. You know what I'm saying? People have the right to support the president. They can't, shouldn't get canceled for that. This is freaking America. Wake up, you guys. Like, But um, on a flip side, storming the Capitol, that was just a no-no. Anyways, um, apparently he works for a company, Hoff & Lay. I looked it up. It's a real estate company in Colorado Springs, and he's been let go. They made a statement, and it's just crazy. It's just crazy how all this stuff is starting to unfold. Like I was trying to keep an open mind because of all the crazy stuff and the information you get on the internet, you know, because even with the BLM riots, you knew there were agitators, provocateurs, all these things going into those riots, you know, escalating things, you know, obviously there's certain people, part of the movement that are, are radical in any movement that's going to happen. So when I looked at this scenario, I was thinking, Hey, what am I being shown here? But as things come to fruition, and this being the, the most obvious one, having video footage, pictures, and, and then it's from my hometown, I'm like, okay, time to reassess a little bit. Anyways, all this stuff just seems, it seems super odd, even how security was kind of just letting people in on one side, but then on the other side, they're scaling walls, etc. I don't get it, but we're going to see how all this unfolds. They are trying to impeach Donald Trump at this current moment, so all this hopefully will start letting more truths and facts out and we're just going to see where this goes but goodness gracious this has been the longest election in my life i'm so ready for it to be over and just get moving i can deal with either president like i just need to know which you know what the hell's going on obvious joe biden is our going to be our president but can we just get in motion a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline you guys anyways let me know what you think of this shenanigans because more and more stuff is coming out as we go and I'm just kind of commenting and processing it as it goes. A lot of people be like, you're an idiot. This is what happened. This blah, 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 blah. But you are on my platform leaving the comment. That is so strange. Anyways, I appreciate all you people keeping a level head. And we can go back and forth and just dialogue about this because I'm learning in real time. Some of the stuff I know, some of it I don't. But we're all learning in real time, in my opinion. Anyways, like, share, and comment on all the content. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. And that's what it is, you guys. I'm out of here. P -p 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 Peace. Ten toes down, watch them bring it back. Walked a long mile, check the internet. Hustling and grind, yes, I'm in the net.